What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than ever kill, and I'm back here in my motherfucking living room, and this is my brand new Cyber Power PC gaming PC that I ordered a few weeks back that I have been talking about for the last few weeks, and a lot of people have noticed the brand new Cyber Power PC branded on my channel, my Twitter, my Facebook, and all my videos. So yes, I am sponsored, so I wanted to take the time out to not only show you the level of quality that CyberPower took with my computer that I purchased with my own money that actually made me decide to get into contact with CyberPower to want to advertise their stuff because they did an amazing job. But I also want to explain my sponsorship and what it means on my channel for you guys. So. This is an Aza Genesis 9000 case. It is full sized. It is monstrous. It is huge and it is all about airflow. If you saw before, it has the coolant fins on top where the radiator sits for the liquid coolant. And it not only brings air inside this case, but it's designed to flow air right out. So this computer is actually designed to keep it as cool and roomy inside as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. You can see my colorful ass house in the background. <laughs> so anyway, look at that tray underneath where the fans and the power supply rest. That is 100% airflow going all the way underneath that, blowing the air up and out. And that is my 1000 watt power supply with removable plugs so I can change around the configuration if I want to span in the future. And that's my 64 gigabyte SSD card and my one terabyte slave card. The operating system is on the SSD in case you're wondering. And that is my beautiful Radeon 7950 3 gigabyte motherfucking video card. Wow, but as you can see, I did not do any wire tucking on this computer at all, and they didn't even know I was a YouTuber when I ordered. I was a random customer, and they tucked all the wires. Very nice, very neat. I have a crossbar right there, especially for the 7950, because it is a bigger video card, and when you do crossfire them, they can flop around, give you a little bit of extra stability on the inside. But this is the level of quality that I was telling you guys, that when I first received my PC, I was like, like, wow, this is very, very clean and well put together. This is a company that I would love to fuck with. And boom, look at that. That is my liquid cooling radiator just chilling up there. Gotta love that thing because when I have this thing running, it actually releases cold air. It's like an air conditioner sitting right next to my crotch because I am surrounded by technology and I gotta buy a new desk for my man cave setup. I told you guys that my man cave is getting completely pulled apart and I'm gonna redo it. But right here, you can see, since I am using a capture card to record my PC, you can see how fast this computer actually boots up on that solid state drive. I am running Windows 7, and you do not want to see my password. I don't want you to see my password. Stop trying to look at my motherfucking password. But boom, look at that. In under a minute, that was probably about like what, like 33 seconds, somewhere around there, to boot up to main use uh, of the computer, which is very, very cool. So right here, we're looking at the specs. This is an i5 processor, which is very good for gaming, and also 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is all you need at the moment. And I was planning on expanding to 16 gigabytes of RAM in the future, so I ordered it with the least RAM possible. That way I could float on a little bit of extra features to save a little bit of money. And this PC right here has a 7.6 Windows Index rating at a 7.9. The only way to get it faster would be to upgrade the RAM to 16 gigabytes and have an i7 processor with hyper threading. But I don't need that since I bought this computer specifically to play games. I don't need to hyper thread it because it's not going to be used for rendering. That is going to be made by the PC that Cyber Power is building me right now. They are building me a monster. I will put pictures of that later on in this. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably already seen them or on Facebook. It is an amazing looking PC. But look, right here, we are real time loading these games up. I'm showing you how it looks and it's very crisp very clear my old gaming pc sometimes when you load it up it would get a little bit laggy at the intro screens right there until it actually like really kicked in to uh, run the game pretty well but as soon as i open up any game on this pc it is boom right there ready to go really crisp looking graphics and uh, you can't really ask for much more and like i said this pc only ran me about 1200 bucks that is with shipping and mind you this is a 60 pound computer 
fully shipped. So that is a lot of money for shipping. So altogether, it probably costs around $10,000, ah, $10,000, $1,050 before shipping, which isn't bad for an i5 processor with this, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, $7,950, and I also have a 1,000 watt power supply, fans galore, liquid cooling. I have a 64 gigabyte SSD, which Windows 7 is running on, because I don't like Windows 8. I really don't. I don't have a touch screen monitor, and I don't want a touch screen operating system. Fuck you, Windows 8. <laughs> but right now, we're actually loading up what looks to be Bioshock Infinite. And this is actually a pretty newer game that has very good graphics. And I actually, this is the first time I am running Bioshock Infinite. So I'm pretty sure this isn't even on maxed out graphics right here. And it still looks very, very amazing inside this uh, menu right here. We're going to go ahead and zoom around. That way you can sh uh, see exactly how fluid it is. Very, very crisp. Very clear. Can't ask for much more. And uh, I'm actually going to give you an in-game demonstration really quick of uh, Dead Island. Because Dead Island's one of the uh, PC games that I really like first. That's like probably like, actually, no, Team Fortress 2 was the first one I downloaded on my other PC. This uh, was the second game that I bought for uh, my PC. And uh, I absolutely love this game. And it is very, very high in detail. If you have a good computer, you can get some very good graphics with the water and the foliage. And a uh, very, very good looking game. The only thing that I must say right here is... Uh, I am using a Radeon video card, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, there is a little bit of screen tearing in this intro right here, and uh, the 7950 is known for a little bit of screen tearing during uh, cutscenes and shit like that. I'm not very, uh, I'm not a very big purist on that, although I will see exactly how the NVIDIA Titan stacks up against the uh, 7950 because the NVIDIA Titan is going to be the video card that's coming in my brand new PC. The cyber power is building me. And let's speak about that for a minute while we're taking a look at Dead Island because uh, this is very, very good looking footage right here. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is on max graphics as I was loading this up before and playing just a little bit because I love this game. Love this game. But uh, let, me, let me explain to you my sponsorship with a cyber power PC because I, I want to let you guys know that there's nothing really that's going to change except the fact that number one a lot of the newer games that I'm going to be getting are going to be on PC because the uh, PC that they're building me right now for not only gaming but for rendering has an i7 overclocked to about 4.5 gigahertz it's going to have huge liquid cooling 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's also gonna have like little RAM fans and liquid cooling shit all over the place. Very cool with some very cool neons inside it. I know a lot of people hate neons, but uh, <laughs> I just gotta say that because I've never had a computer that was decked out like this. And it's fucking amazing. It's gonna have an NVIDIA Titan 6 gigabyte graphics card. 1000 watt power supply unit, you know, solid state drive, all, all the uh, all the goodies, all the trimmings to kind of really make a powerhouse PC. And what, what this is going to do is it's going to benefit me because not only am I going to have more time uh, to make videos, but it's going to make my videos render a lot faster so I don't spend about 12 hours every weekend rendering my Sunday Q&A. I can actually get a little bit of a sleep on Sundays. I will have more time during the week that I I don't have to wait around for an hour, hour and a half for a video to render. That way, once I can render these videos very, very fast, I will have a lot of time that I will be using to live stream for you guys. Because I told you I do want to get into live streaming. I just don't have the time in my daily life. Because by the time I get home and then I put together a video, I render it, I put it up. Once that's uploaded, I get my next video ready in the editor. And I render that while that's uploading. And it's usually like a four to five hour process here. Once I get home to uh, make these videos for you guys. And by the time I'm done, it's like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And then I want to hang out with my girlfriend before she goes to bed and once she goes to bed that's my time for gaming it's like two three o'clock in the morning and nobody is really gonna be around for a live stream for that but now that I'm able to actually render a video out with this new PC that they're gonna be giving me I will be able to render videos in probably like 15 to 20 minutes which means boom I render my video upload it render the video upload it that is an hour right there that's gone with just uploading and rendering two videos which means those four other hours that I was spending 
I have time to do maybe like an hour live stream, maybe two hour live stream. Maybe I could go get a little bit of a pussy from my girlfriend, right? You never know. <laughs> so anyway, we're here in Dead Island and it is beautiful. You saw the water effects back there when we jumped in the water and you see the blood on the face. Very good looking graphics. I am 100% pleased with this. Like I said, since I was a random customer, when I bought this PC and I saw the level of attention to detail that Cyber Power gave, gave me as just a random regular customer, you know, made me want to contact them and talk to them and be like, look man, you know, uh, I, I'd, I'd like to advertise your shit in my videos because I think my subscribers who uh, get a lot of PC uh, gaming subscribers or subscribers that might be buying a PS4 but you know you think maybe seven eight hundred dollars maybe you want to spend that money on a gaming PC and you could do a lot more with it than just go on the internet and play games with your friends you can still do that on the PC but you can also look at very high definition porn what I didn't say that <laughs> so yeah we're gonna beat the shit out of this zombie we're gonna dismember him and uh, while we are I'm gonna go ahead and put up a few pictures on screen right now of the badass computer that cyber power is gonna be providing me so I can bring not only the best content the best looking content but also a little bit more often and save me a little bit of trouble in my life and have more time to live stream and interact play with you guys and do all that shit that way it makes it just a little bit easier so those of you guys that were saying like shit in the comments like oh my god you sold out you took a sponsorship motherfucker I took the sponsorship for you guys I took it for you that way you know I can keep my technology up to date my girlfriend's happy I have more time and everything everybody benefits everybody benefits and we get good quality looking footage right here not only that but, you know, just a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun and some live streams. And that's what we're going to be doing this summer. Once Borderlands 2 gets out of its uh, out of its groove with the DLC, you know, the mod is going to pick up. People are going to be playing that. And there's going to be a lot of games that I want to, uh, you know, just kind of chill on during the live stream. Hang out with you guys. Maybe even get some of the uh, PC subscribers in here. Fuck around Dead Island. Mutilate some zombies. You never know. You never know. But we will be doing some very fun things. And like I said, those of you guys that did uh, congratulate me and support me for uh, taking a sponsorship to benefit you guys and my channel to benefit you guys and my channel I want to thank you guys because that that wholeheartedly means a lot to me the fact that you guys would sit there and support that because I, I know how it looks from the outside it does look a little bit hoary but guess what it's not it's not it's, it's gonna benefit everybody involved so my name is Jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment subscribe I want to thank you guys for watching if you could throw a thumbs up on this video I would highly appreciate it but also check in the description down below there will be a link to where you can go ahead and enter for a chance to win a free cyber power gaming PC God damn! So my name is Jay Morton After Kill. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.